Andhra Pradesh. And the facts I would like to explain to your good self. The honorable, the, the then honorable Prime Minister of this country, on 20th February 2014, has assured on this August House, on the floor of this August House, that the special category status would be granted, though it is not incorporated in Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act, it is an assurance that has been given by the then Honorable Prime Minister, which has not been adhered to. Sir, when a promise has been made on the floor of the House, and if it is not adhered to, then the only option that we have is that matter would be referred to the Assurance <coughs> Committee, Committee of Assurances, and the outcome of the Assurance Committee probably you'll you'll be aware I, I, i'm not I, I don't know sir uh, uh, what, what should be the repercussions and all this is one issue sir the second point is the union cabinet on 3rd march 2014 has taken a decision to grant the special category status to the residual state of andhra pradesh and decided that the matter be referred to the Planning Commission then existed. Sir, the, whether, the, whether, whether, the, whether the matter had to be referred to the Planning Commission or not, it was the prerogative of the government. It was not mandatory. It was, it was well within the purview and jurisdiction of the government of India to grant the special category status and union cabinet on its own would have granted the special category status, even without referring to the Planning Commission by way of executive order, sir. Sir, in fact, the Bharati Janata Party, which is ruling now, has included this in the manifesto, in their manifesto, in 2014, and it is part of their manifesto, sir. Sir, why, why we are clamoring for special category status? It is not merely for the sake of uh, uh, asking special category status we are asking. Sir, when the state was divided, when the Congress party has <coughs> decided unilaterally and damaged the interest of the people of Andhra Pradesh, it was the decision taken then. And in the light of the fact <coughs> that the capital of Hyderabad was going to Telangana, I, I, I play, see, sir, I, I'm getting disturbed when somebody talks. Uh, no, no. I, I request the honourable no, members to maintain talks. the silence if it is possible. Nobody talks. I, there is silence. Sir, the Hyderabad, which was the which was the capital of composite Andhra composite Andhra Pradesh, had the film industry there, had the software industry there, had the uh, majority of the public sector undertakings and the software industry had the turnover of approximately 80,000 crores of rupees per annum annual turnover and all these institutions have gone to Telangana and the Andhra Pradesh, residual part of Andhra Pradesh has been left as an agrarian state. Therefore, the special category status to this residual state of Andhra Pradesh was imminent and necessary for the development of Andhra Pradesh in order to in order to have a development for the state of Andhra Pradesh on par with the neighboring states and other states of this country. That was the reason why this special category status has been asked for, sir. Sir, the Honorable Finance Minister, while giving the reply on, on this issue, several times has pointed out that 14th Finance Commission has prohibited granting of special category status to any of the states after the pl planning commission has been abolished. This is, this is what the reply what he has given. No. To my knowledge, sir, I have gone through the 14th Finance Commission report. Nowhere in the 14th Finance Commission report has stated that the special category status should not be there. In fact, they have no jurisdiction. They have not dealt with the special category status. What they have stated, what all they have stated in 14th Finance Commission report is that they have not made any distinction between the special category states and non uh, other states in so far as devolution of funds, uh, fund, devolution of funds in respect of 
revenue deficit is concerned. This is what they have stated. Nowhere they have stated that the special category status should not be granted to any of the states. This video is not like this. Like this, comment. But subscribe to the channel.